What happened with uh, Jillian? Oh, she's like, she's vapid. There was no substance to her. I'm like, what do you want in two years? I want to be with a hot guy on a no. vacation. She said that? Yeah. Okay, so I went through, I found a couple guys that I think are... That's my boy, Jeff. Okay, well, That's my ringer. Just he's not on. my first choice. That this is who our top picks are. I have a few other options, but this is who I think is a better choice for her. Oh, I like him. I Garrett's think, great. I think Garrett's a good fit for her. I think that he... Well, yeah, with his but, 1987 Levi's shirt yes, on? Yes, I'm not a fan of the shirt myself, but that doesn't mean that can't be changed. I like him because he's attractive. I think it, maybe with her energy level, it will work out well. He's more laid back. I think Monica and my mom are being a little too short-sighted in matching Jillian. You're dealing with a girl here who wants a hot guy. Okay, not somebody who wants the guy. Anyone we match her with is going to have to be willing to raise her daughter, for starters. And look, Garrett may fit the bill, but Jillian's still at least a dozen coaching sessions away from even realizing that. Let me just tell you why I think Jeff will be Thank you, tell me Okay, right. that's wonderful. We're going with Garrett first. Go ahead. This is, we're gonna go with Garrett first. Okay, I said so. Steve does not agree about this match with Garrett and Jillian. And Garrett could be the guy. He's attractive, he's successful, he's smart. What's the worst thing that could happen? They actually would possibly have a great time together. You know, I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. You think she's gonna like Garrett more than she's gonna like Jeff? What is this, a bet now? Yeah, I'll take a bet. This is a sure bet. Jillian wants a hot guy, so I wanna give her exactly what she wants. And that's my buddy Jeff. If she likes Garrett more than she likes Jeff, I'll take everyone to dinner, okay? But if she likes Jeff more than she likes Garrett, Okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna make dinner. Can you just agree to move on already? Oh my God, betting is the number one thing in the Ward family. We bet everything. We'll bet pocketbooks, we'll bet dinners, we bet vacations. That's, that's motivating for us. We love the bet. And we're gonna put Garrett with Jillian, and then afterwards, I want you to get the feedback. You want me to get the feedback? Yeah, I want you to get the feedback. Okay. Okay? All right, and then what? Just get the and then she'll go out with Jeff one because it's not going to work out. Okay, one, one thing at a time. time. So, let the games begin. Okay, I can't wait to having a nice home cooked meal. I can't wait to go out to eat on Steve. You know, this isn't tough love. In our day to day business, we don't get to see the dates that our clients go on. What we do is, after they go on the date, I meet with Garrett. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? To find out what he thought of Jillian. Hi. Hey. How are you? And then I meet with Jillian to find out what she thought of Garrett. And between the two, I try to figure out what really happened. So, what's happening with you? Have you heard about the date? No, that's why I'm here, actually. I wanted to get it straight from the horse's mouth. What did you do on your date? We ended up going to the waterworks. Uh huh. Just met up at the gazebo, up at the top, and uh, just got to know each other a little bit. Um, now, I don't know, like, anything really about you. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, uh, I own a salon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, yeah. whatever. But, huh. do you want to go have a drink? Um, yeah, why don't we uh, just go for a walk then? Okay. Here. I just didn't feel the chemistry just wasn't there. Oh, dude, it was a disaster. Was it really? I told her where we were going to meet. Right. I told her we were going to do a little bit of walking, and you know, she was complaining about her shoes the whole time. Careful your uh, high heels there. Seriously, my arm. thanks. Okay, so. This is really steep. Yeah, I don't know how you guys walk in those shoes. Walking down hills like this makes it a little bit more difficult. He tells me he told you you guys were going to go for a walk. Well, yeah. Why would you wear five-inch heels on a walk? Well. They went with my dress. What do you mean? They went with Listen. my dress. Why would you wear that dress then? Okay. At what point did you think that there wasn't chemistry? Like, was it instant? Like, did you, like, it was a kinda, It was kind of instant. As soon as you saw him, you weren't well, attracted to him. I don't know, the whole loafers so, right. and shorts thing, like, I don't know. That's just kind of kinda like. So that means, as the matchmaker, okay, I'm saying, you're superficial. She's still kind of well, stuck you... back when she was like a teenager. Still hitting up the clubs and you know, it's just not me anymore. Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? A little more naturalism. And someone that's just a little more um, grown up. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the draw board. I think that I can definitely find somebody that you're gonna be more interested in. Cool. Hey, appreciate you, man. No problem. I couldn't handle him, I'm sorry. I don't know, can we just move on to the next one? Help me out, come on, Steve. All right, I got, Seriously. A, guy, I got a guy in mind for you. Good, that's great. What I'm asking you to kind of is, is to use a little bit of that open-mindedness, clothing-wise. You don't want to look like you're going out for Project One. Can I, can I? Zip it. Oh, go Zip. ahead. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Don't ever bring up money. You either sound like you're bragging, so I can talk or you about sound business. like you're broke. Seriously, just relax, I'm trying to talk to you. Makeup-wise. Okay. Less is more. 
Gotcha. And even if you don't like the guy, I want him to walk away crazy about you. Right? Cool. Sounds good. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks. Julian and Jeff finally went out on their date. Hey, brother. Good to see you, man. So it's time for me to talk to each of them. How are you? Good to see you. And find out if Julian has learned anything from coaching. And more importantly, whether Julian liked my pick, Jeff, or the mom's pick, Garrett. So. So. How was your date with Jeff? It went really well. Well, you look really great. And, right. and were you dressed similarly on your date? Yeah, absolutely. So you yeah. toned it down a little bit? Yeah, I toned it down a little bit. Maybe you I are learning. It. I'm learning. I listen to you. Jillian. How are you? How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. You're nice. Thanks, so do you. What's going on? Not too much. This restaurant's so nice, right? Huh? Have you ever been here before? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool here. So tell me, why Why did it go so well? You know, I was attracted to him. That's like one of the biggest things as far as, you know, things working. Well, per usual, I was right. Jillian is really into Jeff. But just like with Garrett, she made up her mind based entirely on his looks. This superficial decision making is going to be a big problem for her if she can't learn to curb it quick. I tried to follow all the things that you said as far as, you know, not interrupting him. Would she interrupt you? No, she didn't interrupt me, but she was very fast talking. So how's it going? How's your day so far? Yeah? So Want to get a drink? Yeah, for sure. So tell me about you. What do you do? I was actually interested in what he had to say, so it wasn't really too difficult to not interrupt him. You know what I mean? I wanted to actually listen to him. What are you looking for as far as relationship or, you know, what are you, what's your deal? Somebody who's spontaneous, trustworthy, because I travel a lot. So it's That's a big thing. It's like, and somebody who's independent too. Sure. I don't, I don't like getting stale or getting bored. Yeah. That's cool. It is. How much did you learn about her? She's got her own business. She's got some confidence. She's attractive. She's got some things she's working with. Did she talk much about her family or upbringing or? She didn't bring up the, the fact that she had a child until the end of the date. How'd it you come up? I'd like to find somebody, you know, that I have a connection with. And, yeah. you know, I'd like to eventually get married and have maybe another child. Oh, I have a daughter. Her name's Sydney. Do you have any kids? I don't. No? no? It's really, actually, I have an ideal situation. My mom helps me out a lot. So I have, like, built-in babysitters and... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Is that a turn-off for you at all? I, I, it turned me on that she handled her responsibility with it. So I respected that. She's got her own thing, self-made, pretty girl. You know, she's probably had to survive a little bit. So do you think that she liked you? I think she felt a little connection. I did too. You know, I want to go out on a second date with her. To so get a chance to know her a little bit better. Yeah? Oh, for sure. So do you think this girl actually has a chance of ending up in a relationship with you, or? Does she have the potential to be Mrs. Randazzo? I don't know. What do you say, guys? Here's the bets. Bad payoffs, <laughs> right? OK. Cheers to that. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, my God. At dinner? It's a client, Steve. You know I always take a call. Monday. Hello? Hi, how are you? You're kidding me! Pam got engaged to Adrian. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I so know, much I it could come at a better time. Steve, isn't that great? It's great. That's so good. Oh my God, Pam, I'm so happy. Oh. Oh, she's crying again? Oh. I... Uh, oh, Pam, I love you. This could come at a better time for me tonight. Thank the you love. so much for calling. All right, bye-bye. Don't you think isn't that Listen, good? Really? Par for the course, Ma. It's you know great. what? I'm going to go to bed and I'm really feeling awesome. How about that? So Stephen won the bet. Okay, he won the bet. But you know what? I got my victory too.